good to see you. And uh, tell us what you brought into the studio with this. Well, this little one I've got in my hand is a uh, eight-week-old female baby lion. Uh, she's a black mane Barbary lion. If it was a boy, I'd have a big black mane around his neck when he grows up to be an adult. But uh, she's a long ways from that. Oh, okay. So right this now, is Simba, huh? <laughs> there you go. This is, a, this is what Simba would be if it was a boy who grew up big. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, she's so oh, sweet. So sport. <laughs> and I think the other fellow you've got is uh, Outback Jack. Right? Outback Jack is uh, about a two-year-old red kangaroo. Um, they take until they're about uh, five to grow up all the way. So he's a young fellow yet. And uh, he's one of the animals we've got on display is down at the Heartland Mall. And uh, you guys are going to be here from when to when? Uh, we're here Wednesday through Sunday. We keep them all hours. I think it's 10 to 9 through Saturday, and on Sundays either 11 to 5 or 12 to 5 or 12 to 6, somewhere there. <laughs> and uh, and what all can folks see when they want to see? Uh, free for the public to see is Baby African Lion, uh, Himadreus Baboon, Outback Jack, uh, Two Ringtail Lemurs, uh, Bengal Tiger, uh, Water Buffalo, Camel, Llamas, uh, Goats, Ponies. Uh, the only thing that people actually pay to see is we have a rare show which consists of a white tiger and a black leopard. And that's a dollar a person to see those guys. But everything else oh, is free wow. to see and the mall sponsors it all. Hey, that's, that's amazing. And uh, now, are people able to get close and interact with the animals? We've, got, stand a, back, we've got a petting zoo side and an uh, exotic animal side. Obviously, the tiger's not in the petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> we, on the one side, we've got the goats and the water buffalo and the llamas and things like this. The kids can go right in and they pet reach through and play with the guys and they hand feed them if they want to, things like that. And then from a safe distance, we have a perimeter fence so that they can see the tigers and the monkeys and things like that. Oh, you're just fussing, ain't you? Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, now is there any chance I could get to hold her? You can hold her. You can have a picture made with you. You can do whatever you want to. Here you go. <laughs> oh, oh. Dog's oh. little radio announcer. <laughs> oh, she's great. Now, uh, now, what does she weigh? Right now, she's probably about, oh, maybe eight, nine pounds. And, and how old is she? She just turned eight weeks old. Hey, can I turn you over like sure, this? Sure, rub oh. belly. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> Say something out there. She's like, I'm getting my belly rubbed. She's I'm rubbing. And <laughs> then she gone's great big. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Which goes over so good on the air, right? <laughs> oh, oh, what a pretty girl. Now, how big is she going to be when she grows up? How long and, and how much uh, is she going to weigh? two and a half to three years, she's probably going to weigh between 450 and 500 pounds. Goodness gracious. And uh, how much meat does she eat a day? Right now she doesn't. She's on a bottle. Uh, she will be for about another two weeks. Then she'll start on ground meat, which is either turkey, beef, or uh, chicken. And eventually when she's full grown, she'll consume 14, 16 pounds of meat a day. So. And you know what? When I go home today, my 30 cats are going to go nuts. Yeah, they're not going to know that smell. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now, can Jack get out of the cage Absolutely. or is he yeah, going to go gonna nuts? Hand anyway. me the feed for him and I'll... And, w and what does Jack eat? Well, actually, Jack eats, he's a kangaroo, so he eats kangaroo chow. <laughs> well, Karina, hey, Karina makes a chow for everything, and this guy is no <laughs> exception. So, they, uh, the people at, at Karina makes, literally, they make a chow for just about everything, including big cats. But um, this guy here eats stuff called kangaroo chow. It's made by Missouri brand. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's, he's neat. Now, now, as cute as she is, and as much as I don't want to give her back, mm -hmm. she's not a pet. Right? No. Well, right now she's cute, she's cuddly, everybody thinks she's wonderful, but that animal will grow up to be 500 pounds in a real short time, and it takes a lot of attention. Uh, it takes proper facilities to hold and handle something like that, and if you don't, you know, that's when accidents happen, because they're really not a good pet. Now, and sometimes, uh, some of the animals you acquire we are had, from... Yeah. We've had uh, people that... They think when they're that size, they're, they are adorable, but they think they're going to stay that way. So they get something that's like that, and, uh, you know, in a couple of years, they've got one of these unwanted pets, I guess you'd want to call it. And we house quite a few of those, too. We have a breeding facility in Trenton, Florida, and uh, as well as that, we also have a few of these guys here that we've acquired from people that didn't realize what they were getting into. See, even even the cutest kitten turns into a useless, lazy, fat house pet. Eventually. <laughs> <Yes, so>. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're wanting some food, huh? Yeah, quit food. mugging Kangaroo says, microphone, get out of the way. I want the food. Don't Give me the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, says, I'm getting mugged here. <laughs> give me food. Okay, now can I, I'll give you sure, her back. Hold your uh, hand flat. He'll kind of chew it out of there. <laughs> oh, he's great. <laughs> Manus is going to love you guys. Now, <laughs> hay and food all over the floor. <laughs> now, now, Jack is a, is a male? He's a male. He's two years old. He'll take until he's about five 
to grow up. When he's full grown, he'll weigh uh, between 170 and 220 pounds and can stand up to like five foot, five foot five. So, and, and how high can he jump? Uh, when they're hopping, because they don't run anywhere, everywhere they go they hop, they're not able to walk. Um, these guys are able to lunge up to 30 foot lunges at a time forward and hop up in the air anywhere from six to eight foot. Yeah. Now, can I pet him? Sure. Yeah, he, right he's got the softest. Is he? Uh, hey, if you're feeding him, you're your best friend. But he's got the softest coat there ever was. I mean, they're softer than Angora rabbits. Oh, oh yeah. He says, "Where's the food?" Oh, no nipping. He says, "Groceries." Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, the whole thing. Some more. Yeah. He says, "You're missing the point. I come here for food, man." Simba yeah, likes the attention. Good. He wants the, the groceries. That's yeah. why he's growing up, and she's a tiny little baby. So. <laughs> now, now, what kind of teeth does he have? Is they're, they're, shaped like teeth? Teeth? they're shaped like a rodent. They're shaped like a rodent. Oh, sure. Yeah. Are. yeah so, if they if they nippy, you know it. <laughs> Oh, you're soft, buddy. You're soft. He says, you know, uh, checking your pockets. You want to say something on the radio, Jack? He don't say a word. He really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks like he knows a lot. And this w has literally become a zoo. Everybody's accumulated. There's a giant <laughs> window here. <laughs> Usually we're the only animals in the zoo. Look at those paws. Now, he doesn't actually have opposable thumbs there, but he's... No. And he's grabbed your hand pretty well, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> But if you watch, now you look at his front feet, now you look at his back ones, he actually has three toes on the bottom, one big one, and there's actually two bones that go together in that. And um, those are used for defense, those bottom feet are. They'll rear back on that tail and they'll use that back feet for pumping it. And they can kick really hard. I can imagine. They can really let you Oh, and he, he is really soft. And you know, when Jesse came in this morning, he was wearing his Sylvester Stallone Rocky Balboa hoodie. I thought he was getting ready for, for the boxing match. The boxing. <laughs> I think Jack can take Jesse. I, well, you know, he's quick. He, I don't know how strong he is, but he's quick. <laughs> he, he actually has uh, has reach on Jesse, too, which is amazing. So. <laughs> oh, these guys are great. Oh, they're, uh, they're just part of the guys we've got down there. They're fun to come out here and play with, I tell you. They, they're awesome little guys. They love the attention. And, well, what uh, got you into the traveling menagerie? Business? Well, uh, my parents had a breeding facility that we've had for years. Uh, my dad started about two, a little over 25 years ago doing different uh, venues such as shopping centers and shopping malls, stuff like that, to fund that. And it turned into being something that we end up doing now about uh, eight and a half, nine months a year. We'll go off for five, six weeks at a time and different venues such as the Heartland Mall will sponsor it. And um, for them, of course, it brings in extra people to their... <laughs> he says, I want the food! I'm getting mugged! I'm getting mugged by kangaroo! <laughs> You're not fast enough! <laughs> Well, he literally boxed my ears. <laughs> well, mate, you got, you got to understand that Barbie's got to come. That's you know? it. You've been, you know, you. I've been smacked by a lot of things in my lifetime. But never a kangaroo. Never by the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of being a child with my brother Mark. <laughs> and the lion, meanwhile, is saying, I'm not getting enough attention over here. It's oh, dramatic. it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, but... Um, this, like I say, this is this is just some of the things that we uh, that we raise funds with, and and for the mall, of course, it enables them to do something free for the community. They can have a petting zoo that the kids can come out and interact with the animals. Mom and dad can come out and, and be with the kids for something that everybody can enjoy. And uh, you know, uh, of course, it brings people to their center, and and I guess they're having the the pecan thing this weekend, uh, the festival or something like that. I guess yeah. Another. So you know, it's, it goes with that too. And they're having other things going out at the mall uh, as well as us uh, this weekend, but. You know, for us, it, it enables us to uh, raise funds and in, in our farm. I, I would be surprised if you didn't see every kid in Brown and their parents. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. this is just, who could resist the animals? This is just great. Well, 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 you're getting that. hungry now, aren't you? Well, that's what it's about. You know, something that mom and dad and kids can come out and enjoy themselves with. And, and um, that's why we've been uh, we've been hosted by them all for, I guess, now six or seven different times. And, and uh, it works really well for everyone. So. And, uh, and hey, Robert, thanks for bringing the animals in, and, and thanks for bringing them to town. Matt, I guess you're the gym to his Marlin person. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sit in the boat, Jim. Uh, Matt's out wrestling the end of fun. <laughs> and uh, once again, give the give the times that you're going to be out there. Uh, we're out there Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, coming in the morning, going night through Saturday, and then Sunday's hours, I believe, is like 11 to 5 or 12 to 5, something like that. For whatever the mall's hours are. We keep the same thing. Yeah. And, and if you don't want to take these guys back right away, you can just drop them off. Just leave them here? And, okay. And uh, I'll play with them. So. Well, uh, I'll tell you, this one's due to make a mess any minute. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be a good idea. Well, that's okay. I'm due to make a mess any minute. <laughs> and with that, we probably ought to take a break.